Hello everybody and welcome back once more to Pokemon Infinite Fusion. I am the Outback Al and we're here in Celadon City. So, last time we were here, we weren't having a great time. I was underleveled for a lot of stuff. I kind of, I've been doing this thing of recording a whole bunch of episodes in a row so that I can just, you know, put them all out and not have to worry about them. But it's causing me to fall behind a little bit in levels for some of the story stuff. So, here's what I went and did. We... Upgraded a lot of people to higher levels and even did a couple other things. Look at that. Nine Corio now. Much stronger than they were before. Barry's doing good. Gary's always excellent. Noibat's here. And I combined a Haunter with a Pikachu to make a Haunch Chew. Uh, I will explain that a little bit later, my, my logic behind that. But I want to go to the Pokemon Center real quick because I'm realizing I haven't been doing a whole lot in the way of fusions lately. And we've been collecting up a bunch of Pokemon, so we might as well, before we do anything else, load up and get a few more people fused up. I have a couple... Oh, yeah. Forgot to mention, I, I leveled up quite a few people. And you're going to notice what's going on there and what's going on over here. Eevee became an Umbreon and died. Jigglypuff was a Wigglytuff and died. I went back and talked to some trainers, I did some grinding with some different people, and I found out that breeders will just randomly give you fucking eggs. And they will hatch into virtually anything. So, yeah, I I got a combination Igglypuff Natu that evolved into these two, and an Eevee Sandshrew. So, yeah, it... it <laughs> we evolved some people, we caught some people, we like, a lot of stuff been going on. In the little little meantime, I gotta evolve you at some point. Some people have, have gone up quite a bit. I also caught some extra Voltorbs because I want to finish out that quest. I think it's only gonna take one, but it might take two. I'm not sure. Anyway, I do have something that I need to ask you guys. Because, technically, Jigglypuff and Eevee were already caught, I... Oh, shit. Hit the wrong thing. I'm not necessarily supposed to have them, but at the same time, they came from an egg. So, it's a little bit weird. I don't know. Oh, wow, they really went down in level. That is unfortunate. Same thing with you. Gotta unfuse you. Come on, there you go. So, these two... I'm not entirely sure whether I'm allowed to use yet. I'm gonna move Jigglypuff over to box two for now. I'm actually gonna leave it up to you guys, cause you guys will know, will are gonna vote, like if I have something that came from an egg, am I allowed to count that again? I do have some duplicates here. Now this is for a quest, so I'm gonna allow myself that. And I have caught certain people who have combined a little bit. Um, and I think that was allowed because yeah, they're, they were caught at different levels. I'm not necessarily going against certain things, but yeah, I'm going to leave it up to you whether I'm allowed to use this Eevee and this Jigglypuff. But for now, I am going to use this thing because I am a jerk who likes to complete quests, and I am been given an opportunity to complete a quest that I otherwise would not have gotten. Uh, but we do now have two Sand Slashes, uh, and I want... We've been doing that thing of... Oh, wow, you're really up there. That's nice. Oh, you're actually still pretty good. We've been combining them a little bit. So let's combine these two together. And we'll see what they can make. So it doesn't really add anything. They're gonna have the same move pool, they're gonna have the same stats, but they will get boosted. Okay, that's that's pretty interesting. You got any other sprites, though? I was really interested because I think there was gonna be a sprite for this that I really liked. Yes, we got a Digimon! <laughs> it's a Mouse Mouse Pokemon, but in reality, okay. Sandvale or Sandvale? I think we'll go with Sandvale. Let's see, up special attack, lower attack, up special defense, lower defense. I mean, a little extra special defense couldn't hurt. We'll combine the move sets. Oh, they're gonna learn Magnitude. That's excellent. Uh, we can get rid of Santoon. We don't need that. No, we don't want Santoon. Ah, that's cool. 
All right. <laughs> It's like, it looks like that on the little thing, but like, it, I have an Ankylomon, and you know what? I'm going to nickname you that. Actually, hang on, I need to make sure that I'm spelling this right. I know it's an A-N-K, hang on. Okay. Yeah, I love a nice silly reference. So whoever came up with this idea for that sprite and got it approved, thank you for that. Uh, meantime, though, I have a couple people that I wanted to fuse around a little bit. I was looking around at a few things and I wanted to combine some stuff together. So someone uh, who's been commenting a lot has mentioned that I could have put Baniri with Shedinja to make a ghost normal type that would have been only weak to dark type Pokemon. I had mentioned why I didn't want to do that and that didn't work out anyway. But I do have another ghost type that's very powerful right now, and I think I might do that. Now, I know to some degree I have two Haunters, and one of them has been fused with a Pikachu, but I still like the idea of this, so I'm gonna go with it. I may fuse them into a, a Super Haunter later, but for now I'm gonna do this just because I think it's kind of cool. And this does present a, a, an interesting idea for another Pokemon that will that's kind of interesting. Honpane. Normal ghost, and I think I'm gonna have them take the levitate ability. Yeah, so they'll be immune to ghost, they'll be immune to normal, they'll be immune to fighting, and immune to ground types. And they'll only be weak to dark. Up special attack, lower special defense. Up attack, lower speed, no. We're gonna do this because this person's definitely gonna be a, um kind of more speedy, like, a bit of a glass cannon, but let's see, payback. I don't know that I'll need payback defin uh, uh, definitely, because, like, it's usually as a result of Nightshade, though. Nightshade could be good. I do like those moves that, um, give that set damage. Confuse rate, I don't like going off of that that much. Shadow Punch, though. Hits without fail. Return hasn't been that good when I used it, so... And I know in a few levels they'll learn Shadow Ball, which is pretty good. Like, that's not bad. That special attack, even the normal attack, is pretty good. So, we have a little bit of coverage, but not a ton. It, it's at least interesting, so I'm gonna go with that. I did have an idea for you. I'm gonna fuse you with another Psychic type right here. Uh, I think we'll go with this one. I think this one had the better stats, or at least the ones that I wanted. So, let's check them out. Okay. We have a hip two. I haven't decided what everyone's gonna fuse with, but... At least get a couple of things going on. Determines what move a, moves a foe has. I like the synchronized better. Oh, and they're both neutral. Okay. Headbutt. I'll take headbutt over Lucky Chant, I think. Psy Beam. Stored power. Uh, user attacks with the stored power. The more, the more the user stats are shit. Eh, that's, uh, that's a bit dependent on certain situations. I like Ominous Wind, but at the same time, it's a little situational sometimes. Confusion, well, I already have Psybeam. We won't learn Confusion for now. That's interesting. Their, uh, their stats are, their levels are going down a little bit, but it's pretty good speed overall. Like, I like that special defense as well. What else we got here? I was gonna combine, oh, I need a Leaf Stone for you. Do I have that? We're gonna hang on for just a minute. I need to do a couple of things. Do, 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 do. Do I have uh, that other stone? Yes. This is happening. I am completing that quest, and whether or not Espeon actually gets used for anything is an entirely separate issue, and you guys can vote on that later. I'm probably gonna have a poll come up tomorrow about it and maybe some other stuff, but yeah, for now I am I am getting this stupid quest done. It's not a stupid quest, I'm just stupid for not thinking to actually complete it before uh, I got somebody killed. Mm. Mm. I don't know what I want. Oh, let's 
kind of nice. Cool. Confusion. Very nice to learn confusion. Eh, we'll get rid of that for now. Ta-da! Confusion. Alright, real quick. Let's go out here. No, I don't want to go to the sewers. Thank you, though. We're going to complete one of these quests. Alright. Yes, I can absolutely do that. Thank you for helping me out. I want you to have these. Two suit. What is a super splicer? Our prototype that is still being developed by Silco. It hasn't been, even been released to the public yet. Quest complete. What does that do? Alright, a splicer is used to fuse two Pokemon together. It results in a higher level of fusion than regular splicers. So we won't lose levels when we fuse people. That is interesting. I might save that. Because not all the fusions that I'm going to be making right now are necessarily ones that I'm like, yeah, I definitely need to uh, have them up levels. I might grind a little bit off screen here and there, but I wanted you guys to see what I was like essentially creating. Some of the weird random shit that I wanted to put together. So, I need to go up and get another evolutionary stone, because I don't think I have the one that I need for what I want to do. Hello. May I buy a leaf stone? Yes, I will take that leaf stone. All right, and now we go back. Hey. All right. Now Anyone who knows enough about evolutionary stuff, there's only one reason I would actually need a leaf stone. And that's because I'm gonna evolve Weepin' Bell. Because I don't think I need them to learn anything else at this level. Let's use this leaf stone and upgrade them to their highest level. Ta-da! All right. Okay. Oh, wait. No. Which one do I want? Yeah, it's kind of good the way it is, I think. Uh, leaf tornado. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, I'll get rid of Vine Whip. I mean, Vine Whip's not as good as we'd hope. Leaf Tornado, Leaf Storm. Yeah, we'll get rid of Knockoff. We don't need that. Okay. Go back in here. Pop them back in the place. I'm gonna fuse them with you. As weird as that may sound, I actually think it's not a terrible idea. We keep the grass poison typing so the majority of our best moves will get stab off of. And I think they'll actually, again, I'm, I'm going for a lot of people who have like some speed and offense. That's mostly what I got. I don't have a whole lot that'll make really great tanks yet. That's kind of cool looking, by the way. Victorpede. Yeah, I'm good with this. The Megapede Flycatcher. Let's see. Chlorophyll Poison Point. We'll go with Poison Point. Uh, we can lower our attack. We're, we can up our attack, lower our defense, or up our defense, lower our special defense. We can lose a little bit of defense if we're going to up our attack. Um, because I think, let's see here, Leaf Tornado, Venishock, Venishock I don't think we necessarily need. Stun Spore I do want. Acid we don't necessarily need, I think Poison Tail's better than that. Uh, Leaf Storm though, Leaf Storm I would want, and I'll take it over Bug Bite because we're not going to get Stab off that anymore. And I can probably teach them... I'm going to pull them out for just a second. 
I want to see, can they learn my best poison move, Poison Jab? They can, so we will teach them that. We can take that over uh, Poison Tail. So they'll have a lot of, be able to probably pump out a lot of damage that way. Them. They didn't lose any levels. That's interesting. Oh, I guess uh, other people were being fused and they were like unfused, then fuse, all that stuff. But like, yeah, they'll stay the same level if I fuse them into the same level. Let's take a look at them real quick. Like, their attack's pretty good. Special attack is less than I'd like, but still pretty decent. Speed's nice. Poison point I'm always a fan of. So, I think next I wanted to combine you with you. Let's see here. I was gonna make this one, I think. I did take a look to see which ones would have, like, which stats would end up being better one way or the other. And this is especially a good one because, like, if I can get the, uh, thick club, it'll, like, double its attack, I think. But I gotta find that. I think there was a better sprite of this. If I'm remembering correctly. Maybe not. Start your rock. Now, we could learn takedown, so I might go with Rockhead. Up speed, lower defense. Or up defense, lower special attack. Up speed, lower defense. I'm gonna lower the special attack because we don't need special attack on this kind of Pokemon. They're mostly physical. So Brick Break, I absolutely want. We don't need Dragon Breath. That's completely unnecessary. Bone Club. We have some rock moves. Rock Tomb's pretty good. Smackdown could be good. I want to keep Stealth Rock, though. Smackdown is good. I want to keep because uh, I want to get flyers down onto the grub. We don't need False Wipe. We'll learn that for someone else. Boomerang, though. Bone Club or Bone... Boomerang actually has, like, it'll hit twice, and it ha it's a little more accurate, so I might go with that. But yeah, so... Ooh, da, 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 da. Wow, look at that defense. That is a, that's pretty tanky, for the most part. And then, not much in the way of special attack, but we don't need that. I think at a certain point they could learn takedown, or maybe I didn't have them learn takedown at some point, I forget. Um, and the next one I want to combine are you... And you, because I'm like... You two are... I was gonna go with. Which one was I gonna go with? I think. I think this one? Because, like, they're the fossil Pokemon. You might as well combine them. That's interesting. Okay. Uh, Pokemon is protected against critical hits. Oh, they both do the same thing. Cool. Neutral nature, neutral... Yeah, alright. We'll say they're hardy. Rollout, I don't love the idea of, actually. Uh, it's, it's locking us in, and I'm not a fan of that. Bite. Bug Bite is a little bit better, because we'll, um... I feel like you guys are going to be a little more physical. I'll... Yeah. Water gun, I'll keep brine. Eh, hey, look at you. Probably gonna evolve pretty soon, so that's good. Actually pretty quick. Overall, honestly, their stats are not terrible. When they evolve, they might actually uh, be pretty good. I think that was about it that I wanted to do. Um, if you guys have other ideas for other combinations of people that you think I should put together, please let me know. Oh, you got to move, because I got to put you over here. You're, you might be an illegal Pokemon at this point. All right. Real quick, just because we're on the point of uh, completing quests, we should real quick fly back to Vermilion City. I think it's only going to take one more Voltorb, but I want to uh, finish out this lighthouse thing. So, let's grab one. 
see where we're at. You have soundproof, you have static. I'm gonna wanna keep the one with static, I think. Because, yeah. Oh, and so, I didn't really explain it, but why did I want a Haunter and a Pikachu? First off, quick and very high special attack and immune to ground type, so they're really only weak to Ghost and Dark, which is pretty good for the most part. But I put Light Ball on them, and I haven't evolved them to Raichu yet because I wanted to try out using Light Ball on them. Now, normally, if you have a Pikachu with Light Ball versus a Raichu, uh, technically... Hang on, let's do this real quick. the beacon. So is he... Is he just not showing up? I do not know how many I need to, like, finish this beacon thing. Like, I realize I completed the quest, but I'm also like... How many can I put in here? I don't know. If anyone knows the answer to that, because I don't want to, like, put every single... Just get, like, 50 Voltorbs and put them in here. But I guess I can go check with the guy. Yeah, so... Light Ball, I think, was essentially added to the game so that, uh... Red, at the end of... That... Thing... Volt Switch, that's pretty fucking good. Thanks for helping out with last bunch of app here. I wanna, I wanna see if I can teach that to... One of my Pokémon... You know who. Yeah. Alright, Nuzzle's still pretty good. Volt Switch. I'm gonna get rid of... I think I might get rid of Shadow Punch. I mean, it puts us mostly in, like... I just think that might be a good idea. Right, so... Raichu has overall better stats than Pikachu. Like, across the board. Light Ball does double it Pikachu's attack and special attack, making them higher than Raichu's attack and special attack, but Raichu still has more speed, more physical and special defense, and more HP. So, really, you'd rather have a Raichu, overall. I think we might be done with that uh, Voltorb thing, but I don't know. We'll we'll find out another time. Let's go back to Celadon real quick and uh, fight a gym leader. I think I'm, I'm, I'm ready to just, like, go in and uh, beat someone's ass. But, yeah... The reason that I didn't evolve Pikachu is because when you combine them with someone else, if Pikachu's the body in this game, Light Ball still works for doubling attack and special attack. So, already, their special attack is much higher than they ever would have been as a Pikachu. Now, imagine what happens when they become a Gengar. Now, at some point, I might want to do... Raichu anyway, just to get the extra speed boost and everything, but right now, I think this might be a decent strategy if the light ball thing still works. The main problem with using it on a regular Pikachu is that, yeah, it just... It's not gonna be... It just can't get strong enough, as is. But in this game, there might be something to that kind of strategy. We'll have to see as we keep going, but... As of right now... Let's see here... I I think there's only going to be three Pokemon. As much as I want to use Noibat, Noibat is not going to get strong until they evolve. And I do want them to evolve, but as of right now, they're not going in. You're not going in for other reasons entirely. Um, so it might be these three. So, that's what we're going to do, and we're going to see what happens. Oh, hello! Lovely weather, isn't it? So pleasant. Oh dear, I must have dozed off. Welcome out back, Al. Nice to see you again. So you decided to come challenge me. I'm really grateful for you, your help with Team Rocket, but that doesn't mean I'll go easy on you. I shall use three Pokemon for this battle. You venture three. Enter, enter, and enter. Let's do this, Erica. Gonna get that fourth badge today. What do you got? Exegigudo. Whoa. So. Flying grass. Or grass normal. Either way, flamethrower seems like the best possible way to go. And it was. I love Nine Corio's, like, whole 
They're they're full they fully embraced the dance. Tan Ape sounds like it's time to fly with this uh fighting grass type. Ooh, going for the switch. I think this will still work out just fine though. Oh, and it did. On the crit, no less. Oh, Ninecorio got it. And how about one for the road? Flying up, using the ancient power, and well, bam. That was a very easy gym. Now that I actually have people of a level that they should be at. I must confer you the rainbow badge. All right. Oh, I can see defeat. You are remarkably strong. I must confer you the rainbow badge. And I get the rainbow badge. The rainbow badge will make Pokemon obtain in a trade up to level 50. Obey. Please also take this. Solar Beam. Yay, Solar Beam. Your Pokemon emits a powerful ray of light. You don't have to charge it if the weather is sunny. And we get two Wonder Trade tickets that we won't be using. Okay. So. Where are we at at this point? What do we want to do at this point? That was a remarkably easy thing, and I felt like because of the team that I built, it was going to be easy, so I kind of just saved that for the end. What to do now? There's not much left to do today, I don't think. Unless something's going to pop out of nowhere. You know what? I didn't really, like, look down this way. Oh, I can't look down that way. That's interesting. Okay. That's fine. That's fine. It's not like I care. Alright. No new HMs, I don't think. Oh! Hello, I didn't go over here before. Is there anything? You look like a man with a flute. Hmm, a Pokemon trainer. We have met before, I remember. I brought back this special flute for my travels. Show me the city's badge and it is yours. <gasps> That's it. That's the city's badge. Here you go, as promised. You obtained the red flute. Is that for... Inf I think that's for infatuation. Yes. Cool. So we're getting all the flutes and he just disappeared. All right. PP Max? PP Max, is there a hidden item over here somewhere, perhaps? <gasps> X-Scissor? Oh, that's a really damn good bug move to have. Can anyone learn it? Yeah, of course you can. I would want you to learn over that. I don't think anything right now. But this is an interesting thing for anyone who, um... Could learn a bug move. That could be cool. Cool to have that. I'll have to think. I'll have to think on that. Alright. I'm gonna be wasting a little bit of time at the end of this. You guys look familiar. Like Team Plasma or something? Super Splicers are now are a new improved type of to try to Hey, got another Super Splicer. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. And you finally made the Super Splicer available. You can buy them in the Pokemon now. Cool. Who's upstairs? Is it more crazy people? I often wonder what it would feel like to be a Pokemon. How do they experience the world? Do they even see things the same way as we do? Seldon City is the largest city in Kanto. Well, I guess Saffron City is a bit larger, but more people live over here. <laughs> Alright, we're just going to check out the last little bits here because I don't really go here that often. What's up with you? You want a tip? Come back to the cafe here after hours. You'll be able to buy a lot more than coffee. Are you talking about drugs? Would you like a warm coffee? It's only two... Yeah, sure. I got money. Okay. Coffee. Excellent. What do coffee do? I don't know. Cup of coffee. Restores 50 HP. Hey, nice. Coffees, that's nice. What's going on with you people over here? It's you again! You're the fossil kid from Mount Moon! We met again on the SS Andy. You remember me? I explore the caves around the region and find even more fossils. Oh, hell yeah! Let's do this, baby! I really gotta look around at more stuff. Oh, that poor creature. Honestly, Nincorio has, like, pretty good coverage for some stuff. Kabaloo. That's a bug. Or a rock plant, something. I don't entirely know, but I'm feeling berry at this very moment. Gonna hit me with a sand attack, huh? A sand attack? Is that what you're doing? 
Endure? Endure this. They probably, they did endure that. Ooh, a leer. Not good. Brick break? Really? Bruh. Oh, come on. Oh, alright, fine. Fine. You, you, you wanted this to happen, didn't you? I do have a thought for who I want to fuse Gary with. Don't have them yet. But it will be soon. I'm gonna ice fang you. See what's up with that. Alright, so you are part plant or something. But hey, another fossil. What oh what will we get though? Alright, I'll let you have another fossil, that's promised. Which one would you like? Armor fossil or skull fossil? Let's do a quick flip. And we can figure that out. That's not the flipping coin thingy that I always have. Here's my flipping coin thingy. And its heads will go with the armor fossil. You can involve in Pokemon train, blah blah blah. Alright. Let's talk to the last of these people. Munch, munch, that man at that table lost it all in the slots. I made my Pokemon drink coffee every single day to make it faster. I need to see if it's working. Won't you have that? Yeah, sure. Let's check this out. I'm sorry, are you? Oh, you're a cool trainer. I thought, like, I thought they were, like, a plasma person or something. All right, that's, like, you definitely have some poison in you. So, this will definitely be something. It is a frightening creature, though. I'll give you that. They never stood a chance. Ooh, Carbos, okay. All right, all right, okay. Go ahead, laugh, I'm flat out busted. No more slots for me, I'm going, to I'm going straight here. I won't need this anymore. Okay, coin case, cool. All right, so we can do stuff with that. I do want to check that out. There's something back there. I'm gonna to have to come back at night. It's night. Oh. What? 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 There's a fucking black market here, man. I don't think I'm allowed to get that because I can't. I don't think I can get that one either because I've had an Abra. I guess we can liberate the, the, the two things that I haven't gotten yet. The Lediba and the Centret. Oh my god. I feel like I need to, like... I feel like I need to break these Pokémon out. I'm wondering if this changes every single day. This is... I feel bad about this. Something about this is not right. Oh, right, they're in my... they're in my party. This could be interesting. I might put the, uh, the whatchamacallit, the experience share on them for a bit. See where that goes. I feel very bad about that, and I feel like I need to somehow find a way to shut that down. Um, meantime, here's the, this, we'll see what's available. Ice Beam, Thunderbolt, Flamethrower. These I definitely need to get because they'll be... I'll be able to constantly use them. Oh, of course. Some of these, honestly. That would be nice. This is something to think about. But yeah, so I think that's it for us today. I know what I want to do next time, and it's to get fusion material for Gary. And it's going to be a possibly dangerous battle, and but I'm I'm hoping to really do something with that. So come back next time, and we'll do that. Bye bye. Hey, thanks for watching, and if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe and ring the bell icon for notifications. If you enjoyed this video, give us a like, and feel free to check out some of our other gaming videos, our weekly podcast, Anime Yay or Nay, or our parody series, Madoka Magically Abridged. See you next time.